Welcome to The Quiet Room Brought to you by the creator of Truth Well Told, Tarot Your space for relaxing music, meditation and sleep enhancement Join me on my new channel I'll leave all the details below The Quiet Room Hello Cancer and welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your June 2024 messages from Spirit Reading for the sign of Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So I hope you're well. As always, the reading won't be for everyone. Take what resonates for you. So welcome Cancer. Let's see what we have for you. I'm going to pull the cards first. Message from Spirit for Cancer. We have a King of Pentacles. Can be a person or the energy of male or female, solid, stable, secure, successful. Crossing that we have the two of wands. Above that we have the eight of pentacles. Beneath that we have the ten of swords. Immediate past we have the four. Immediate future, we have the Queen of Swords. Bottom two cards, we have the Ten of Cups. And we have the Wheel of Fortune. And the Lovers. I did look, so I'm going to say it. The fool is when we debate, do we take a chance on somebody? You might have given chances before. Sometimes we say, would I be foolish to take a chance on this person again? Or give this person another chance? Or someone made you feel a fool? This can be the energy here. It looks like you're in your truth here, Cancer, that's for sure. Um, but I think that you are... Um, Considering you're in your immediate past, a new beginning, but that might involve taking a leap of faith on an individual. It feels to do with uh, romance, love, romance, relationships, the lovers can be to do with, certainly with the Ten of Cups, this feels to do with... Um, It feels to do with, do I take a leap? Do I take a chance? Am I ready or do I liberate from the whole situation and start on a brand new path will be the energy here. The, I think that you're dealing with some truth. The Ten of Swords is is the foundation card. The Ten of Swords can be to do with a painful ending, ending something, because you end maybe being exposed to being hurt, let down, uh, be feeling betrayed, stabbed in the back, scapegoated. I mean, this can be the energy here with the Ten of Swords. It's There is emotional pain caused at a significant level here that has the potential to bring an ending, but then you draw the line under that situation and let the new light in will be the energy. So the whole focus of this is how do you bring an end to what, what is a painful situation or an experience of pain, likely caused by somebody else. I think that you have a choice here. This King of Pentacles is saying to you, I mean, they're presenting themselves as somebody who wants to build something with you, somebody who is promising to be solid and stable and likely do what they say they're going to do, male or female. But it's presenting some kind of choice. It can be, do I stay? Do I go? Do I take a chance on them or do I step into the unknown? I think with this here, Cancer, the Eight of Pentacles is... Where do you put your time and energy and is it worth it? What's worth it to you? 
I think that this person is likely wanting to work through your issues, prove that they can build back up, prove that they can change. This feels like that, that sense here. But it's going to take a lot of work. But they're prepared to do it. It could also be the fundamental issue that caused so much pain and hurt. Uh, could have been a work thing. The fact that they were never around. The fact that you were doing everything. And they didn't take responsibility. And maybe acted foolishly. Maybe, you know, this This just feels that sense here, Cancer. You were doing everything else. You were taking on all the responsibility for everything. And it doesn't start out as being hurtful or painful, you know, this kind of journey. But it's over a period of time, the hurt, the pain becomes more significant, you know, and this could be the energy as well whether you didn't feel somebody was pulling their weight. So this is either, I think that you're dealing with a, a truth of some kind, whether it's through being caused emotional pain, betrayed, deeply wounded, deeply hurt, or just deeply wounded, deeply hurt through a sequence of events over a period of time that has brought you to this point. And it could well be someone's focus was always elsewhere. I think that they're promising to be committed now, either way. Committed to putting time and energy in the right direction, however that would manifest for you. Queen of Swords could be somebody who might be giving you advice again. I always say with the Queen of Swords, male or female, this is somebody who will tell it you like it is, but likely <laughs> quite direct energy, but always gives good advice. Um, but this can also be you getting to the truth of the situation and deciding how you want to move forward. Do you want to cut cords? You can be dealing with the truth or seeing the reality of a situation, but the Queen of Swords isn't black and white. She isn't just, yes, that's fine, or no, let's cut cords. There are kind of layers in between that, and it's really making the best possible decision in terms of how you want to move forward in truth, being truthful with yourself as well, but also bring in a sense of authenticity into how you move forward. You know, i certainly not putting up with this experience any longer. I think that you're giving somebody the benefit of the doubt. Now, the Wheel of Fortune, good luck, good fortune, divine timing and orchestration, I feel that the choice is to give someone an opportunity to prove that they can turn this round. We do that, Cancer, because when we have this kind of energy here, the Ten of Cups is... The rainbow, it's that sense of the rainbow of blessings, long-term committed relationships, marriage, happy home, happy family, could be children, could be, and, and generally it takes a long time to build that kind of relationship up. So this feels that it looks like the decision that you're making here, the best possible decision in truth, you're being very truthful in terms of how you want to move forward with this. And likely this could be that sense of a warning shot as well. Uh, the fact that someone is, is on that point of, of a knife edge and you're giving them that choice, that benefit of the doubt to turn something around and prove that that can happen to you. But it's almost kind of like, you know, you're very clear in terms of what the parameters are and setting healthy boundaries. And that's what I'm seeing for you here, Cancer. Because a lot of the time we don't want to when we take so long to build up this kind of energy, whatever's happened here is kind of you weigh it up against the long history that you have with somebody versus what's happened to bring you that sense of the Ten of Swords and decide, okay, given the long history and the amount of time it's taken to build up, you know, I'm going to give somebody the opportunity to see if we can turn this around or not. This is the energy that I'm seeing for you but being very clear in terms of what the parameters are likely. I mean, free will, but that's what I'm seeing with the cards. Let's see what we have for you as a final message. Final message for Cancer. Thank you, Angel Spirits Guides. Uh, 
Antelope, new pathways. Consider whether you are happy on your current path. Yeah. This is that sense here. Something's got to give. Something's got to change. I've not pulled you the additional card, so I'm going to do that now. I think I got so absorbed in the tarot, I didn't, <laughs> I didn't pull you the oracle cards. Let's see what we have for you. I'm going to pull you a message from Spirit. Oh, I love that, especially with the Wheel of Fortune. Synchronicity. Are you noticing the signs of synchronicity that the spirit world has been sending to you at this time? People and situations in your life are not just appearing by coincidence. In reality, they're being guided to you from the spirit world to help you for a specific reason. Bottom of the deck, a father's love. A father's love for his son or daughter never dies. The strength gained from such love is often unquantifiable in that it can be tapped into at any time for whatever reason, whether your father is still here or has passed. A father's love is one of the strongest bonds any of us will ever experience. I'm going to pull you a spirit animal oracle card. I'm going to choose from this deck because they're a little large. What do we have for our lovely Cancerians? Thank you, Angel Spirits Guides. Message for Cancer. We have B, community. You are a powerful creator. You work, your work blesses everything you touch. Be open to receiving sweetness. You are the queen of abundance. Abundance is also when we don't feel lack, when we feel that sense of fulfillment and bounty and a, fulfill, a fulfilling experience with others. And that's the energy here. That, that's the energy here. I'm going to pull you a destiny card as well. What do we have for cancer? Thank you. Angel Spirits Guides for June. Message from Spirit. Two cards. New beginnings, there is. You know, because the card is still signaling here, Cancer, that however you're dealing with this situation, this is the end of a painful experience. And this is where you're taking steps to bring in that sense of it's a new day, a new dawn. Whether you, and it feels like giving somebody an opportunity to turn things around, but it is a new day, you know. It's not going to be like it was before, likely. Let's see what we have for you. I'm going to, this is called protection. One of the most potent signs on the sacred landscape is the ancient oak. It carries numerous meanings. You are protected. You can weather anything. Your roots go deep. You are brave and you can survive anything. Stand strong. You carry the energy of a leader and you have great authority in life. Great wisdom is expanding within you and others sense this. This card also can mean to protect your assets, take, take care to protect and guard your home, your loved ones and yourself. There is that sense here also here, Cancer, that you're finding your voice, uh, finding your voice of truth, speaking in a very direct way in terms of how you feel about whatever this situation is, and be very clear about what the parameters are in terms of how you're moving forward. It's what I'm seeing here, but it feels like that has the potential to bring in real positive change and happiness and fulfillment. That's what I have for you, Cancer, for the month of June. I hope you enjoyed your reading, maybe found it helpful, useful. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I wish you a wonderful month. I will see you next time.